Okay, so that takes us right into this section. I gotcha. Now what's this? It says it's destroyed, so I don't know if that's like... If that's worth uh, even grabbing. Hey, Gravy, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Pick up George Baton's dropped cargo. Whoa! Okay, we're already at weight limit. All Freddy. See, like, there's no way that you want to be taking long treks like this. What are the sunglasses for? Uh, this guy? We got to customize the color of the sunglasses at some point. The boxes, I think, can stack pretty high, but... So... If I... Yeah, see, this is nice. I can deliver lost cargo here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. It's defaults to entrusting. Yeah, very cool. See, that didn't seem to change that connection level. We did get some... We did get likes. We did get likes. Alright. Now. Let's clear everything here. We need to head down to this area. What? How are we going to do that? We have a ladder placed here by somebody. We might be able to utilize. Man, look at this. We have a time fall situation there. We have time fall right in front of us. I think we probably just want to stay... Like, here we could cross again. But then, like, maybe try and avoid this time fall. I just don't know how big the areas are. Like, that feels like it might be dangerous. Time fall shelter. Let's just check that out so we know what's happening. And then we'll come down to this ladder... And then reach the city this way. Maybe put destroyed cargo on top. Yeah, that might actually work. That's something to watch out for. I don't know if we have cargo that's destroyed right now. Oh, we oh resins are destroyed. But we picked them up as and they were destroyed already. Uh but they are kind of sitting in the back there. So if I offload this. And then I want to say... Okay, so that... We'll put it on top. In the order that you do it. See, I'm wondering if you can, like, shuffle these things in a certain way. I don't know. Could 
Could be worse. Could be fire ants. Goddamn cottonmouth. The stamina decreases. Drink from. We gotta drink our energy. Nice. Hey, Wyladat, what's up? Thank you so much. Glad you made it. This is one of those things that, like, uh, when we find, when you find a nice stretch of land that's not full of boulders, it's going to be, like, the biggest relief. <sighs> you look at this. Death note. Excellent. Thanks for the help. This one's for you. Enjoy. Like, I think anything along the way we could grab. George Baton. That's not even where we want to be aiming at, is it? Getting stressed every time I wobble. I know. I feel it too. Trust me. Trust me. I feel the wobbles just as intently as you do. What is this thing? Too close. Why do I carry so much? Because it's my job. Memory chips. Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. Cool. Yeah, I'm actually off to do some work. Good luck um, walking. <laughs> Thanks, Kaz. Appreciate it, man. I'll enjoy my stroll. You know what? God damn it. Let's hit this one. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. So chat, we're gonna have a lot of time to uh to spend together while we're running around here. And uh here, we're gonna deliver this, first of all. Look at that. Hey, Hawashi, welcome. Hey, Crackle. Delivering is it weird? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird, but if you want it to be weird, you'll I'm like so it. I'm so glad you're here. Gotta say, you truly are incredible. So I'm looking at... Okay, so that connection level is going up a little bit. Maybe it is related to the likes. Thanks, Nightworks. We also have um, this memory chip now. Data from one memory chip will be recovered. Proceed. Yes. Hi, SARS. <laughs> How's it going? 
Hey, it's Guillermo. Well, well, would you look at this? Thank you so much, Sam. Memory chip data restored. The following data can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Frame arms, Biako. Thank what? you for your contribution. Hmm. Frame arms? Memory chips. Frame arms, Biako. Frame arms was a series of original plastic robot figurines created by Kotobukiya, or Kaya, one of Japan's premier manufacturers of plastic models. Each robot shares the same basic frame architecture, with different external parts being attached to create an individual mechanoid. The Bayako White Tiger figure is a rare masterpiece based on one of Yoji Shinkawa's designs. The fully realized world and captivating story behind the Frame, frame Arm series won at many dedicated fans. What? What is that? Is that a real thing that you guys know? What the? Okay. Is there uh well I guess we'll have to figure it out but the fastest way I could seem I could feel to get this thing to the top of the pack is to remove it and then put it back on. I don't know if there's a way of like rearranging these in here. I can select multiple and then do something with it but Why carry it? Somebody had the idea that, um... Uh-oh. Somebody had the idea that maybe putting destroyed cargo on top will protect the others below it. There's a move to the right of the item. Let's see. See, like... All that's saying is when I hit X, it'll say I can move to any of these things. Uh, it doesn't give me the ability to, like, rearrange it within here, as far as I can tell. Right? This is our destroyed item that we picked up. And we don't even know if it does anything. It, it might not even, but... If you guys know of a better way to manually reorganize, let me know. Oh no! <laughs> Almost wiped out. Watchtowers lie to survey the area right, okay. Oh wow. Okay, so we saw this earlier, but this is actually super helpful. We can place markers from here if we wanted. We can place markers on these things. Use the options to select structure menu. See a list of functions available at various structure levels. I imagine most people are just optimizing the the storage. But that could negatively impact you depending on what the cargo is, I think. Just press X in the menu. See here, let's so as an example, if I wanted to like 
as soon as I as soon as I press X on it, all it does is say attach to suit, carry by hand, offload. And then whenever if I put it back on my back from that position, then it puts it on top. So unless you are explaining something differently, Westcliff, I don't think that that's how it works. As far as I can tell anyway. What the shit? Whoa. Up, Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Whoa. Now, before someone has eyes on you. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. They were scoping that spot. Yikes. Shit, I think they're on us. I'm gonna beeline. What the? <laughs> All in a day's work. This is what I get paid the big bucks for. What the hell is this? Whoa, dude. Fields gave you trouble, huh? Good thing it was raining. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. Oh. Canteen is refilling automatically. Any time pull or other water that comes into contact with the canteen is absorbed and filtered. We should actually drink some of this. We saw a place of uh, like a timefall shelter. Yeah, we marked it up here. What's this here? Post box. Backup fuel. I'm going to try to just get to that shelter. BTs show up when it rains. I think that's like one of their primary uh, triggers. I don't know if it's guaranteed or not. That's the lost cargo. That's the post box. I mean, it's right in front of me. I'm going to take it. Today's a good day. This one's for you. Easy likes. Cargo for the cargo god. I don't know how important it will be to gather these, like, uh, metals and stuff that we've seen. And the other materials. God, this feels risky. That is not optimal. There's my shelter. Container damaged. Ah! My ratings. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yang Wong. He knows what's up. 
Excellent job, Yang. This is so cool. That's so cool. Okay, let's check our cargo. It's not looking good. Some of it's damaged. Our rare stuff, this is important. The containers are being destroyed. Um, I can switch it to my hand, and if I switch back to my back, then it puts it on top. Look at it. It's all getting destroyed. All the containers. Not the actual stuff. I don't know. I don't know if this would work or not, but it seems like a cool idea where you put the damaged stuff up top. So now that we're in the shelter, though, what do we do to... Do we literally just wait out the rain? Or is there anything we can do? Like, can we rest? We can save. Oh, yeah, we can, uh... Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? We can pee. Let her rip. Are we really out of the rain, though? Yeah, it seems to be. This is happening. It's terrible because, like, multiple people are going to be using the shelter. And, uh, they're going to walk in this big puddle of urine. What did that do for me? Like, why am I doing that? What the frick is this? What is this? Oh, I have to, like, hold on. I have to unequip this. Did we just grow this mushroom? <laughs> what the frick? What is that? I can't do anything with it. That's my P ward. Maybe I've just marked... This is me marking my territory. The mushroom is shared between players and it grows as they urinate on it? <laughs> what? How do you... I don't suppose we could just nap wherever we want. Can we? Because I imagine if you were going to nap, this would be the time. But, uh... I don't think there's a way of doing that. As far as I can tell. How do you nap, Twitch Hammer? Episode 60, thanks for the new sub. And Eint Bear as well, thanks for the Prime sub. Hold circle to nap? I'm catching breath. Well, at least you know your limits. Huh. Oh, your game will be saved automatically every time Sam rests. Save games can be loaded by selecting system from the cufflinks. So this is me resting? find other shelters that have shrooms, you know what people have been doing in there? <laughs> oh my God. Total rest, 27 seconds. Hold on, I'm gonna see if... Oh, there's an actual rest now. Well, enjoy it. I wonder, At you see where it's rest. shaded in the back there? I wonder if that's more of where um, we'd want to be staying out, out of the uh, rain. How uncomfortable would that be? 
<laughs> okay. Let's sleep. If Sam's sleeping, it might be time for you to take a break as well. Like, me, the player. Oh, he's using it as a prop. Well, okay. It's not passing time or anything, so... Yeah, it's a shelter, but... Unless you just want to chill here for an hour. Okay. Bye. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to head down here. There's already one ladder placed here. We've got... Uh, BT signs all over this location. Uh-oh. Not interested. Oh, damn it. TSA is really letting the carry on standards go. <laughs> Significant. I feel like we're going to leave this. Yeah, see? This area is bad, but we're going to try and get out of here and not deal with these. What? See, all of our stuff is ruined. That's the stuff that we needed, too. That's the container, which means the materials aren't far behind. As far as I understand. I don't see any of these guys. I like how I can also dismantle their ladders. Oh boy. It's time to motor. We're gonna have to figure out over time, like, if we should literally just be sitting in those things, waiting for stuff to get to pass. Oh, shit. Whoa. We have all this gear too. I can't see our uh, our scanner. All of our containers are ruined. There's spray that fixes it. I don't think I have that. Do I? Consuming a crypto buyout. Immediately restores a small amount of blood, which I guess we'll learn about, but. Is 
It'll teach us. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, see, this stuff's just destroying everything. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh no. What the frick is that? Something wrong, Sam? I don't know. Kid doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. What? Autoexemia? That's our place, right? Yeah, okay. So... Oh, look, the rain's lighting up right as we arrive. sustainable levels. It triggers the production of harmful compounds, <laughs> and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. Okay. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing the spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. I got a vehicle here, I think. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Get me inside. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. I never thought delivering packages would be so goddamn stressful. But it is! <clears throat> when a piece of cargo is damaged, the impact band will flash red. As the contents take more and more damage, the color of the impact band will gradually change from yellow to red. Keep a careful eye on your impact bands to, in order to make sure that your cargo remains in good condition. I can't even stand right now. Wow. Well, uh, he's not going to be happy about the quality of this. Yikes. Look at him. They're destroyed. Hey, Pat. What's up, man? Wake Station talks to me all about you. Sam Bridges. We're the second expedition, right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. When he's not out making deliveries. So would you bring us? Let's see it. Thanks. Can't imagine how you managed to haul this stuff through BTville. Wait, Sam? BTville. As in Sam Porter, that legendary delivery guy? That's me. <laughs> well, I'll be. Okay. Cargo damage percentage, 27% each. There may have been some time where we were sitting in that shelter when I wasn't fully sheltered. Maybe. New delivery route. <laughs> That's right. Just all over the freaking place. That's where our planning is going to become really important. Distance between new delivery route and shortest route. That's what was showing before that I had questions about. So it it rates us on our like uh, optimization as well. Guys, uh, 
I'm noticing a very distinct lack of Amazon boxes in the chat when we make a successful delivery. And I'm pretty sure I set you up to have a very successful emote spam whenever we make a delivery. Okay, it's time. Thank you. Do you mind connecting us to the network? Thank you. Thank you, guys. There you go. <laughs> that one works too, Gray. That one's... Maybe for the BTs, actually, that works perfect. See? There you go, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lord. Didn't realize you had a box. Well, now you know. Look at these places we are bringing online. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Yeah, quality actually wasn't that bad. So I imagine, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I kind of feel like we're probably still experiencing uh, some tutorializing. And so having to see travel that long duration, seeing how much that rain impacts us. Shelter, I, I, don't, I don't know if there's a point in being inside of shelter if you can't advance time. But maybe I'm just missing something there. As more facilities join the UCA, Bridges HQ will be able to provide additional functionality to those facilities, such as the ability to fabricate equipment and weapons via the delivery terminal. The range of available weapons and equipment may increase, and new terminal functions and information may be added as things progress. So we have new interview data. Mules and drone syndrome, bridge babies, and timefall. Yes! New features have been added to your cufflinks, mail, and data. <laughs> Guys, we're not even, like, we're weird nothing yet. A new options have been added to delivery terminals. Recycle. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Thank you. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Okay. Private room. I can't, I can't even hold my own body weight up right now. I need a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah, that's a minute. If I start watching from tomorrow, will things make more sense? I would recommend, um, hey, like, come on, stand. Private room. I would definitely recommend that you watch the first hour or so to kind of get the setup, but you're not going to have any answers. And it's just going to be kind of like, here's all the questions that we need to start thinking about. And we are thinking a lot. Dead man, you there? A little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. Yeah, baby's seen better days. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. What? And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. <sighs> These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Still mother. 
Babies need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. That's trippy. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Are they impregnating brain dead women? Happy. No, I, I don't think so. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> I think it's a trauma, but uh, maybe it's like maybe it's like a curse. You should remember that having to give a baby are just equipment or have a baby. Try not to get attached. Yeah, Each right. one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb, a process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. Mm. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. That's important. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Mm. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? My uh, BB already. You must understand, there is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network, and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. That's uh, referencing the scene where we our, our uh, boot was like glowing. Night, Sam. I love BB. We're gonna need to come up with a name, but it's gotta be real good, and it's gotta it's gotta feel right, you know. It's gotta go with his little bubbly personality. <laughs> Software update. Yeah. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Bridget was mother. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Not technically Bridget Bridges, Bridget Strand. The Bridges thing is like a company name that some of these guys waiting seem to take for on. You. For whatever reason. Come and find me. If you wouldn't have told me that that was his sister, 
I would assume a different relationship, honestly. It's weird. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it Typical might be boomers. Good to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. Hey, wait, why do we have so many more toys? More importantly. Why did we get more toys? Oh, uh, okay, well, we started, we had those. Now we have these. And do you guys remember the table? Uh, kind of like a hologram table almost. That where the sister was showing us. Uh, I think maybe that's why we have those. Maybe it's story progression. Yeah, I mean, it could be. Yeah, who knows? I'm just trying to figure out what triggers those. Uh, do we need to sleep? We probably need to sleep. Or just drink monster energy, because... Gotta get that 25%. You need to bathe, you stank. Come on, man. I'm doing my best. Did you pick up that Strand means beach in German? I saw somebody mention that before. That's another kind of cool little, you know, with the beach things and the Strand. I also wonder if I ever run out of monster energy. Or if we have an unlimited supply, because you got to drink three of these every time to maximize your stamina. Um, also, the glasses. Oh. Hold on. Maybe I could have been wearing these the whole time? I am Batman. Okay, here's our third drink. It's very important, guys. There's a reason. Gotta max that stamina. I'm going to wear my sunglasses and see if we take them out with us. Somebody had asked about them earlier, and then I realized we weren't wearing them, so. This is an ad? <laughs> yeah. We, it's true, actually. And they're not subtle about it. Okay, so we're maxed out on our drink. Well, that's good. Next. Let's, uh, let's clean up a little bit, actually. The only food, the thing was we've seen resembling food are those little um, cryo biotes or whatever, those little Damn, slugs. Disgusting. Dead man will let your request to me as I oversee DT research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on a BT. Of course you will. You study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are. Inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids. Waste products. Dry relief. Dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should you take my own arise, sample? Try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Oh, you're curious, so I'm going to use it on a BT. Who That's... knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. Sorry, who's... If you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I think he's I said, gone. then what? 
He's gone. Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Okay, first things first. How do I... Uh, how do we get rid of our glasses? Take off the sunglasses until right before you leave. I'm, I'm working on it. I don't know how. I have. I literally have no idea how we've done that. We put them on, and now it's like. I wonder if it counts as. Uh, hold on. So we only have our basic suit here. Makes sense because we're in a different spot. This is where we can change our color scheme, but funnily enough, it doesn't seem to be of the suit. It's just these glasses. Luden's mask. Sunglasses. This is all we got. I might as well go full black out. I, I was looking at the table. I didn't see it. Um, and the equipment rack doesn't seem to give it either. Well, I'll check the table one more time. Maybe it's like once you put them on, it's permanent. You look, there's nothing. There's no option to take off my sunglasses. It's in my inventory. Okay, so I have to. I have to do it when we leave. Then I have to do it when we leave. Let's um. It's been a long trip. Don't judge me. Been a long trip. <laughs> Was that a uh, motorcycle sound? <laughs> what? It's hilarious. I'm open to it. Whatever. Okay, we gotta check on BB. How's BB doing? BB's chilling. Let's, let's soothe. Soothe BB. Oh yeah, very responsive. Oh. Software update programmed successfully. BB looks happy. What else could we ask for? Our own little Tamagotchi. Maybe that's what we should name him. Tama. We'll just name him Tama. Or Tim Tam. Tim Tam Tamaram. Timmy Timmy Tam Tam. Can't name him Dexter. No, oh, that's reserved for my little buddy there. Okay, take on a new order. We got a bunch of stuff happening though. Okay, so the mail that we saw, we have new data. So we have interviews. Okay, here we go. Guys, I'm reading all this. All of it. Die Hardman. About mules and drone syndrome from two years ago. Okay. Bridge's primary objective is to rebuild America. In order to rebuild, one of our main tasks is to reconnect cities and other settlements by re-establishing a delivery network. Back before the Death Stranding, the comms and delivery networks were what held society together. The whole thing was automated. AI managed deliveries carried out by drone. The belief was that taking people out of the equation would revolutionize the entire system. This is somebody asked this earlier. 
and they were saying uh the question was oh we have all this like all this technology yet we're still using people to manually carry goods back and forth so this might answer some of that uh things didn't quite pan out that way instead we started seeing cases of what would eventually be dubbed drone syndrome it was too much for some folks to accept leaving everything uh, where is it? Leaving everything to machines and nothing for the common man. And indeed, the oxytocin, def oxytocin deficiency and hormonal imbalances we confirm seem to back up that assessment. Humanity needed to be part of the process. So laws were put into place and we stepped back into the picture again. And then what happened? All the people put out of work by machines who got called up again convinced themselves society couldn't survive without them. And that brought on a whole new disorder, delivery dependence syndrome, they called it. Okay, when the Death Stranding tore us apart, the delivery problem spiraled even further. It wasn't helped any by the fact that chiral clouds prevented planes and drones from flying, which meant we had to go back to relying completely on human couriers, whether we liked it or not. Eventually, delivering goods became all some lived for. They were obsessed, addicted, and consumed by the desire to deliver. <laughs> Over time, they turned into the mules we know and love today. So those dudes that were chasing us, and then the time fall, they were like, "I don't want. We're not. I'm not into the time fall." But I'm. They're like obsessed and addicted with making deliveries as a form of like proving themselves as humans, still being capable humans. That is trippy. Okay, bridge babies. Why are some of these highlighted? Like, what is what is the section? Highlighted for. Maybe that's just like the key point if you want to breeze through here. Hey, Deadman, who writes about bridge babies. Yeah, they took our jobs. Exactly. That's exactly what, what they're doing. Odds pitch for commercial voiceover work? I wish. Oh, that would be, that would be awesome. Look, I'm kind of new here at Bridges, so I don't know if any of this will be useful to you. Still, I'm happy to talk about BBs if that's what you want. They call me Deadman on account of my familiarity with the dead, get it? We've always been on good terms, you see. Used to have regular little chats back when I worked in the morgue. Anyway, that's also the reason I work on BB maintenance and research to learn more about those who are no longer with us. But I digress. Fact is, BBs were already being issued to our forces in the middle before, or in the field, before I joined Bridges. What's more, research into the little guys had already been conducted long ago, but no one took the plunge and put what they discovered to practical use. Still, what that did mean is that when Bridges wanted to build our own BBs, most of the work had already been done for us. I think BBs make a noise. We just needed to follow the instruction manual, so to speak. Which isn't to say that we have any idea how they work. Not how they can detect BTs or how they connect this world to the other side. We still have much to learn about our little friends, but one thing is certain. Their continued study will lead us to a greater understanding of the stranding and of life and death itself. That much I can assure you. Well, I think that's about all I have to tell you today. Hopefully I'll have something new to share next time we chew the fat. See you around, I guess. So we don't know anything about him. And that was only one year ago. He made that comment too. Where he was like, we're still learning. Time fall from three years ago from Hartman. Okay. Uh, time fall was the first recorded when Death Stranding occurred and despite all the years that have passed since then we are no closer to understanding how or why it accelerates the passage of time for the objects and organisms it touches or why it immediately turns to ordinary water having done so okay that explains okay that explains why the pools of stuff like the rivers and the oceans or whatever uh are not all just like time fall holes uh, some researchers have gone as far as to posit this process as stealing time. As for why time fall is observed only in certain places, all we know for certain is that it is somehow affected by local chiral concentrations. This is merely a hunch, but something in me suspects the Death Stranding may have warped our perception of the passage of time. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, you understand. We humans can conceive of our own deaths and even have the possibility of place beyond Earth, yes? We have the capacity to conceptualize the future and evolutionary advantage which aided our development as a species. Well, what if Timefall has given us a new supercharged version of this essential ability? One that will take us to the next stage of our evolution. Perhaps we wouldn't need to hole ourselves up in the not cities. Perhaps in time the Death Stranding will come to be seen... 
will come to be seen as the phenomenon that saved our species. Exciting thoughts. I'm sure you'll agree. I, for one, can't wait to set on our journey. Who knows what awaits us? Okay. Uh, at the beginning of this scene, who was it that was talking on the intercom saying that they also had dooms? Chat. Do you guys remember? Mr. Odd is really into this game. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. At the beginning of this scene, the guy that was on the intercom... Was it Hartman, maybe? Okay. We'll see. Okay, George Batten. More than Oxy. Sam the man, our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We were all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up, but three years of isolation and loneliness change anyone's tune. Hell, when we first got here, we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot, but after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. I like that they use emojis and shit. When Central went up, I told myself this was it. America's done. Everyone was feeling it, too, and the mood was just bleak, and then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking. At first, I thought it was just the oxytocin, too, but that's not it. Not, not all of it, anyhow. You gave us a glimmer of hope we needed by bringing up us into the chiral network. We're back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again, even. Watchtowers, too. Before long, we'll be opening up a new delivery route. Or new delivery routes, mark my words. It's still scary out there, though. All the oxy in the world can't help us deal with mules, let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one and end up dropping half our equipment. Honestly, a part of me is still a little worried that we won't be able to keep it up. And that's why we need you, Sam. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. Cool. Sorry, Sam. Bad news. Thanks for delivering those rare medals, Sam. Everyone at the Distro Center really appreciates you coming through for us. I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, though. That bike you saw outside? <laughs> oh, I was pumped! Its battery's dead. You'll have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in. Oh. Sorry if we got your hopes up. What? How are we going to get that? And uh, I got more bad news for you, too. You see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials so everyone gets what they need and make sure that everything that's produced gets put to proper use. That's why guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart, whole world even. Guys, write that down. It's in yellow. It's in yellow. It's very important. Porters, us, very important. Whole system falls apart. Us, porters, keeping it together. The whole world ends. You don't get your Amazon package? World's over. Are you paying attention? Are you taking notes? Anyway, there's this guy, George Baton, over at the way station. The other guy that we're talking to. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's like pulling teeth getting him to make even the simplest delivery. He keeps bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load en route. So yeah, that's why we're a bit short of materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll help us put that to rights. We're counting on you. Okay. And then all of these tips, I kind of want to like... I kind of want to clear them out. Using X to climb continuously. Just hold it. These are all things that we've seen. Red bar is the blood gauge. Sam will die. Blue bar is stamina. Anemia. Lose too much blood. See, like some of these oh there's it's so long too let's just leave them okay we have no active orders let's get in let's get into taking some orders <laughs> is this going on youtube i mean of course right i mean you got it right sam we've received a distress call from the distro center staff check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready okay Take on a new order. Let's go. Wait, where am I? What am I missing here? What the? Am I blind? Oh, I, uh, okay. This is not where I'm taking the order. This is, I'm leaving. Yeah, okay. 
We take it on the thing outside. Yeah, I don't think we can accept our orders from that terminal, but we can view existing ones. So, like... Imagine when we start accumulating a whole bunch of them, we'll want to review them in there. Everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. It's a boy. Says the woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. It's a boy. Oh, I don't know if we took that sample or not. Sam, I kind of thought we just I grabbed it. Tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Yes. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, and the rocket, it. that sort of thing. All over it. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that. Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? A man. Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Hmm, lead through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. You did not warn me, Let but. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pot. Whoa. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure weeks? halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, mm. but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Dead man's honor. Okay, so we know about soothing BB. We've done it before. Um, I'm just going to double check. Network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are novel. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know. After all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Of course it is. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Okay, I want to go, um... I just want to head back into the room for a Your sec to see if we have to grab those bodily fluids. Nightwork, thanks for the 11 months. Episode 60, thanks for the new sub. Eintbear, thanks for the new sub. CSL Hero, thanks for the five bucks. As I know it will sound stupid to a lot of people, but I'm having a hard time in life, actually. Your stream is really important to me. I love your personality. It helps me through my tough life. I wish I could know you IRL. Thank you. That's very kind. I really hope that uh, things turn around for you. Good morning. You got Sam. people to talk to here if you want. Anarchist, thanks for the 23 months. And sink, us, sink ass error. <laughs> thanks for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, see, I don't have an option to like to grab anything from there. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Hey, Linra. So that's... So what Deadman was saying, 
he's very much like he's very much in the camp that BBs are a tool to be used. And he's, he, even just the way he talks about it, like we harvest them and all that kind of stuff, you're like, hmm. okay. Okay. Orders for Sam. All right. So we've got this area back here. Collection of chiral crystals. Yeah, there we go. Sam, the area around that distro center has produced a significant quantity of chiral crystals. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's where the chirelium used in your Cupid's internal circuitry came from. They have a range of applications, including equipment fabrication. Bottom line, they're a valuable resource and one you'll want to make the most of. I'll let Hartman explain in more detail, but Cairo crystals don't exactly grow in trees. If you see any deposits, you should go out of your way to gather them. Okay. Especially since folks with dooms are the only ones that can. Provided they have the necessary equipment, that is. I'll see that it's added to your supplies for this order. Nice. Sam, it's Hartman. Following the discovery of the beach, we not only began to observe heretofore unseen phenomena, but a new type of matter. Chirelium. I say new, but it has doubtlessly existed since the dawn of the universe. We believe it was always there, like dark matter and certain particles. Ever present, yet overlooked because we lacked the capacity to see it. Chirelium appears to be unbound by the constraints of physics as we understand them. It can stop time or move contrary to it. On occasion, it even defies gravity. In practical terms, it can stop or even reverse time and causes objects to float. A special cylindrical case is required to collect and store it. Suffice it to say, the procurement of samples is vital to our ongoing research. Okay, so that shines some light on um, some of the gravity stuff that we saw earlier. Obviously, this chiral stuff is integral to kind of everything that's happening. Um, so we're definitely going to take this. So are these the supplies that they're giving us, this PCC? Collect at least one CG of chiral crystals. Then put them in the distribution center west of Capital Knot City. Okay, and then uh, the chiral printer interface. Heads up, Sam. Distro center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Okay, so, so that's what we heard about. For... All right, we'll just take it. Okay, we're going to accept these. Uh, how do I get over to the other side of that screen again? How do I bring in that, that right, uh, panel? There was a way of doing it before. I can't remember it. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Okay, so let's take this. Auto arrange everything. That's fine. These resins, can I even do anything with this? Like, it's completely destroyed. So. We just ditch it, I guess. We have three PCCs. We have one ladder. Sorry, two ladders. Three ladders. Four ladders. And a couple of climbing anchors. And then the resins and materials. Do I have to keep these with me? See us, Pooper. 
I'll be back on uh, tomorrow. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. Huh. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. We have seen those already. Okay, so we you're saying we should be able to recycle these. Right. Okay. Let's look. I have no chiral crystals. Oh, I can only recycle chiral crystals. It says. Okay. Unable to fabricate because we need a chiral printer at this location. That's cool, which we're going to go get and then probably bring back. Okay. So, in terms of this damage stuff then, I don't see a way that I can use it right now. Looks like you've got an Hilarious. empty container there, huh? <laughs> Yes, I do. Submit junk like that to Bridges. You might not have a use for it, but we do. Okay. Cargo and chiral crystals that are no longer fit for purpose can be recycled. The raw materials produced are made available for use at the facility performing the recycling. Okay. Now we're talking. So I can recycle them. What? Hey, Violet. I'm confused, chat. Do you guys know how to do this? How do I recycle this thing? I have no idea. I have no idea how to recycle it. She's saying even that you can do it. Maybe after we collect the chiral stuff, it'll unlock. Maybe. I'm going to leave it on the ground. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Okay. So we're heading out uh, to this area. I would like to avoid <laughs> P-Ban. Oh, God. Let's actually clear off every route. Clear all of our previous markers. And we're going to go, like, somewhere over here. It's these little hands, so... You should be able to grab them pretty quick. You unlock the recycling after, okay. It was just weird because it popped up and was like, Hey, do this. Oh, uh, that's so such a tease. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultimate to point you in the right direction. Don't worry, buddy. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Okay, so here's one right here. Scanning for crystals. Hold out to... Oh. A watchtower can scan over a wider area. Okay.
Ah, there we go. Let's do this. So right now I'm carrying around all these extra materials that are just getting ruined. Can't this thing work any faster? <laughs> Seriously. Construction complete. Oh, yeah. So it just starts, like, marking everything for us. Okay. Cool. That's helpful. Chiral crystals. The number of power crystals in your possession is displayed at the bottom of your cufflinks map. Your blood level, BB stress level, your stamina, footwear durability, current weight carried, and your total number of likes are also displayed there. Gotcha. So chiral crystals, we got 52. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We definitely have more cargo than we need right now. Mostly because we don't have a way of getting rid of, like, materials and stuff yet. Uh, we could have stored it at the locker, but... Now we can go back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Simmer. Hey, Potato, what's up? Way too long since I properly followed me. Your playthroughs are still lurking around. Glad to see you being you and delivering quality content. Much love from your favorite Royal Potato. Thanks, man. Can't use the bike yet, I don't think. Hey, Arkham. Uh, almost five hours, actually. Julia. The process is pretty How's it going? Access the delivery terminal to drop off any chiral crystals you're carrying. Bridges. Oh, don't don't you worry, guys. We'll get into all the optimizing our loads soon. Okay, here we go. Recycle. Iral Crystals. Mount-owned cargo shelf. Oh, I see. So you do it in batches of a hundred. Yep, there you go, guys. Now you're getting it. Julia, how have you been? I don't know if you're still here. Not a good week. Don't want to ruin your day with my problems. Oh. Crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated carillion levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Well, there's a lot more where that came from, buddy. The 
Container repair spray. That's big. New interview data. Chiral symmetry and chiralium. Claim materials. There we go. New materials are now Access available at Distribution Center west of Capital Mott City. Facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Recycling weapons, equipment, or materials at a facility will increase the amount of materials available for use at that facility. These can then be used to fabricate any new weapons and equipment that you require. So, all of the materials are facility-specific. These are not things that we're, like, carrying with us or anything. Seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Increasing your connection level with a facility will allow for more materials to be stored there. We'll make more materials available for use. Additionally, new functionality may be provided by bridges. You may even receive a gift or two. Now you're talking. Distribution center west of Capital Knock City has provided the following new hologram data. Bridges guard Macho. To use this data, gain access to a level 2 or higher structure and select Customize Structure. Some of the facility's bandwidth has been shared with Sam. More structures can now be built within the Chiral Network area. The amount of materials Sam can use at Distribution Center has been increased. Okay. Guys, we're crushing it. People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon for basic orders. I'm a basic, I'm a basic bitch right now. We're getting there. But with time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. Julia, if you're uh, you're not feeling super hot and you need to vent, you can always hit me up if you want. You've achieved delivery volume grade 10. You can now carry more cargo. Okay, so this stuff is like, this matters. This matters. I'm a handler now. One bridge link. This is good. Oh, before I forget. With that for I could reach this mediocre. For you. It's true. Uh, Ooh. Container That's repair, container repair spray. spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Could use that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Okay, so, uh, now... Let's do this. So this is on our cargo shelf. I don't know how long this lasts at all, but I'm just going to take, like, one of them. And then... Let's try and see if we can recycle stuff now. There is a correlation between elevated Corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. Thanks, Julia. You needn't worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. These guys all and want you can this stuff. Other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R and D and other applications. Okay. Time to strip this sucker down. First of all, I can... There we go. So, destroyed stuff we're going to get rid of, obviously. Uh, with the metals and the resins. Now, is this stuff that I should be uh, recycling to get them? Or am I doing that... Am I accessing these another way? If I hit recycle here, is that giving me the 80 resins? You guys know? 
Here, medals. Uh, this would be 100. So this should go to 1570. Yes. Okay, so we do want to recycle these. All materials, all resins, all of this stuff, gone. Even destroyed. And that's going to clear out so much of the stuff that we were carrying. I feel... I feel so bad sending something off. It's just completely destroyed. Savage. Thank you for your continued support. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Now, um, this is that printer thing that we need to go and grab. Unable to fabricate because we need that printer, but. Uh, container repair spray. Okay, cool. Let's go. Thank you for your contribution. So now we're carrying just the essentials, and I think what I what I'd like to start getting into is, um, you know, we know we need to go a certain place, right? Uh, mule camp to get that printer interface. So let's just place a marker like this. There's already ladders that are placed here. And I kind of wonder, like, you could further optimize. If we go into our private locker. Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Is the bot broken? Uh, it's been like five hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here soon, I think. Okay, so in storage, we have two uh, repair sprays. Here's this X grenade containing Sam's condensed bodily excretions. So I think we want to take this. Right? Um, I don't know that I need to carry, like, all of this other stuff. Private locker... I'm going to take two ladders. And there's so much space for stuff. I got extra boots, it looks like. So now we're carrying repair spray, this X grenade. We're carrying two ladders, one PCC, one climbing anchor. Super clean. Super lean, super clean. Maybe leave a ladder or two in the locker. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we're doing. Okay. Whew. This is super cool. I'm having a really good time with this. Um, I imagine that the, the loop is going to be... Figuring out, like, let's we're mapping out where we need to go, seeing, okay, what kind of things we're going to be crossing, uh, starting to get a feel for, like, what the topography is like, and then we're going to be looking for signs that might help us identify what we need to be carrying and how much of that we need to be carrying, because it adds up quick. So, yeah, it's cool. I like it. Uh, okay, so I think we'll wrap it up for today. Five hours, pretty good. Having a super time. Appreciate you guys all being here. Um, yeah, we can raid somebody. We could do that. <laughs>